Hello again, everyone. The horror nerd Todd Starooch here again, reporting from Scares That Care Charity Weekend number five in Williamsburg, Virginia. And I am sitting here with one of the stars of the hit AMC TV show, The Walking Dead, Father Gabriel himself, Mr. Seth Gilliam. Seth, how are you today? I'm great. I'm great, thanks. Thanks for asking. Good. We're uh, on the third day of the convention, um, kind of winding down a little bit. Everybody's been having a great time. How has the show been for you so far? It's been a great show. I've seen some people. I was here uh, two years ago, uh, so I've uh, run into a bunch of people who have come by. It's good to see them coming by, you know, again, once again, to, uh, to support the charity. So it's, uh, it's been a good time. It's been a steady flow of people and lots of smiles on people's faces. Good. And um, I, I know you've been doing some fan conventions. Um, what is it, anything in particular about this one that draws you to it and made you come back? Um, I think it's the cause really uh, you know it's uh, I, I think it's important to give back whenever you possibly can and this is an opportunity for me to do so and it's just a little bit of my time you know for a great cause and we do appreciate it it means a lot uh, to have you here so um, The Walking Dead you uh, play a key character from the comics um, so you get that call that you've landed a, a key role on probably one of the biggest TV shows uh, on the planet right now. Uh, just describe that feeling a little bit for me. Uh, it was a little surreal. You know, you know, your world's going to expand uh, exponentially. Um, but then the first thing that you go to is like, well, how can I fit? You know, what can I do to be a part of the show to help uh, bring something to it? Because they're hiring you to do a job. Um, you can get a little lost in the. Uh, and the immensity of it, but uh, when you start to just think back to moment, moment reality, it, it helps to uh, to ground you again. Very cool. Now, speaking of your character, I started out as a fan of the comics. Transition to the show. Uh, your character started out as probably the most hated priest <laughs> in the world, but we've seen your character grow and develop, and and now becoming a more much more sympathetic character, mm -hmm. I think. So. Um, how do you feel about your the story arc that you were given for your character? I'm very excited by it. I think it's been a fantastic story arc. I didn't, uh, and I've said this before, I didn't really think that Father Gabriel would, was very long for the world at all. I thought two or three episodes. We all thought that, I have, I have to tell you. <laughs> and I think, and, and justifiably so, the guy did not seem to be uh, built, uh, built for the world around him. But uh, I think the writers, and, you know, have done a fantastic job, in my opinion, of of, of making it believable to see the kinds of changes that this person can go through to get to the point where, where he is now. You know, it's uh, from the top of the rock screaming for his, for his life to being, you know, a valid member of the community. Very cool. Does it ever, is there ever a time where it surprises you a little bit, the, the passion that the fans have for both the comics and the show? The fact that they come and line up, yeah. you know, just for the chance to spend a few minutes with you? Yeah, yeah, e e yeah, each convention I go to, I'm a little surprised by it because the energy is always just uh, in incredibly up, you know? It's, uh, you would think for, for such a, it's a hardcore show and it's mm. kind of dark, you know? that the people who, it, who are drawn to it would be dark people, but these are very bright people who love, you know, their zombies and love their walkers and love the characters on the show. Uh, you know, so I'm constantly hit with up energy and up energy and up energy, which I kind of ride for a while, you know. Absolutely. Now, obviously, you've done other work. Um, speaking of dark, you're on Oz. Yes. <laughs> Not exactly an upbeat yeah, show. Right show. <laughs> exactly. So just describe briefly for us a little bit about your experience on, on that particular show. That show is great. There was a lot of really, really tough material that we were doing. There was a lot of, you know, there wasn't a lot of man-on-man -man love. There was a lot of man-on-man -man hate that was going on in that show. So one of the things I remember about it is, is how generous the other actors were. Because, you know, you can try to be a tough guy or whatever, but if the person you're playing with isn't afraid, it doesn't work. Sure. So, you know, there are lots of, there's lots of give and take on that show that was really beautiful to see from these really tough, hardcore actors, you know. 
So I see here you have quite a line building. I don't want to take too much of your time. So um, obviously you're continuing on The Walking Dead, and I know they get a little dicey about uh, talking about other projects, but do you have anything else you're working on that you want to tell us about? Uh, nothing at the moment. You got you got something for me? <laughs> we, can, we can talk. I'm an independent film producer in New Jersey, so I'll give you a call sometime. We'll, we'll chat about it. Um, Seth, uh, thank you so much for your time. I wish you nothing but continue success on The Walking Dead and beyond. And thanks again for coming down to Scares at Care and supporting a great cause. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Seth Gilliam, Father Gabriel from The Walking Dead, everybody. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next interview.